What was 05L earlier this afternoon, the National Hurricane Center has upgraded to Tropical Storm Dorian. Now at 40 miles per hour, 1,008 millibars as 11 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time this August 24th. There's still a lot of uncertainty on what will Dorian do, but there is a good confidence that it will be a stage three on the CDPS, extensive damage wherever it does go in and around the Lesser Antilles. So a lot of uncertainty on which island it may go through, but we will be keeping an eye on it as we go out over the next few days with it. It is at 11.1 degrees north, 49.4 degrees west. Again, stage three on the CDPS, extensive damage no matter which island it's gonna go through, and there are a lot of islands that this could impact over the next few days. Some of the islands do include the city of Bridgetown in Barbados at 704 miles, Castries in St. Lucia at 804 miles, Fort de France in Martinique at 822, San Juan in Puerto Rico at 1225, and Manoan on Dominican Republic at 1379. There are currently no watches and warnings in place at this time, how we may see some go into place once this does get closer to the Lesser Antilles over the next couple of days. Getting out into the rainfall forecast, you can see during there in the bottom part of the screen as it will start traversing across the Atlantic, impacting Lesser Antilles by the time we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. It could be a formidable storm, possible hurricane, depending on how it gets its act together and what the NHC does. And it will go through the Lesser Antilles and it can either impact Puerto Rico or go into Hispaniola later on by the end of the week. From there on, it's really going to be uncertain as we get outside the scope of seven days. We will have to see what it's going to do once it gets past those. Sea surface temperatures for Dorian are not going to be a problem though. 27 and 28 degrees Celsius out in front of it. And once it does get through the Lesser Antilles, you can see a few 29 degree readings in there that could allow to be really intense by the time it gets into those areas. Getting into the actual forecast, most models do have Dorian making a minimal hurricane by the time it does get through the Lesser Antilles. National Hurricane Center thinking it could be even more intense than that by the time it gets through the Antilles into the Caribbean. But rest assured, it doesn't matter where it's going to go. This is going to be a significant system for the Antilles up by Puerto Rico into Hispaniola. It's just going to be a matter of how intense it's going to be by the time it gets to those areas by the time we get into the late part of the week. The tropical storm force conditions over the next five days are looking like this. Florida France at 68%, Castries at 55%, Bridgetown at 51%, Mono Juan on Dominican Republic at 45%, and San Juan in Puerto Rico at 35%. Getting into the models, a lot of the models are very divided. Some of them don't even take it above tropical storm status. A few of them want to take it up to a moderate hurricane category one. And it's really going to depend on what it does with the wind shear. As wind shear is going to drop to absolutely nothing in the next 24 to 36 hours before. We'll start encountering shear by the time it gets on the other side of the Antilles. And you can see the model guides there. HWRF taking it up towards Puerto Rico. GFS taking it into the southern part of the Dominican Republic. Getting into the imagery now, you can see where some of the convection is starting to get up under Dorian just a little bit better. A few blow-ups there on the last few frames. It is starting to get a little bit more organized over the last few hours. This is why the National Hurricane Center did upgrade it to a tropical storm in its 5 p.m. update. Looking at the water vapor imagery, you can see a lot of cloud cover ahead and behind it, allowing it to really create its own moisture atmosphere. However, that dry air is still very much in the area and it could hinder its intensification just a little bit and getting out into the infrared you can see those few gloves up over the center it's really hard to determine if it's really going to be able to wrap that in or not but rest assured if you're in the antilles up to uh, dominican republic and into puerto rico you guys need to be to keep an eye on this as we do go through the week we'll have more on this storm later on Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can reach us on all of our media outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are revamping the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash force13. You're probably there already. If you are, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like these rolling into your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword 413, where we'll post our articles and keep an eye out there for any live events that we may simulcast there. We're also on Twitter, keyword 413. And if you want to look swag like our own Nathan Four here, you can rock our colors by going to our store. Our store is store.force13.com.
www.thepatriotproject.com or you can continue directly to the project by way of the Patreon. More information about patronage and the privileges you can get from it can be found at patreon.com forward slash force 13. And if you want to reach out to the project directly, you can reach out to us at force 13 on Skype. Or you can hit me up directly at extension T Ren, extension 1375. Or you can hit that link in the bottom of the description to get to our Discord. That information also available at the end of this segment.